President Balatinumbo appoints MKO Abiola's son as special advisor on special duties. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. President Bola Metinumbo has just appointed Jamu Abiola, the son of the late Chief Moshud Kashimau Olawale Abiola MKO, winner of the annulled June 12, 1993 presidential election, as special assistant on special duties. The president made the appointment in the letter he sent to the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, George Akume, before he left for the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Abiola, who graduated from the New York University in the United States, has been deployed by the president to office of the vice president, Kasim Shetima, to assist the Tinubu Shetima-led administration in achieving the promises made to Nigerians during the 2023 presidential election. It is believed the appointment was in deference to the late Abiola's accomplishment and acclaimed philanthropism in the country and abroad. I am pleased to inform you that the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, Bola Metinumbu, has just approved your appointment as Special Assistant to the President on Special Duties. Office of the Vice President, the letter cited goes. So let's see um, some reactions by Nigerians. The first commenter said, too many appointments that, that is becoming irrelevant and completely useless. Another said, it just decompensates his parties. I asked, is there any need for we who knows anybody to be partaking in the elections anymore? Another commenter said, It's good. Abiola didn't fight in vain. His legacies live on. I like Ashiwaju for this appointment. Another commenter said, This is a very remarkable appointment for the late Chief M.K. Abiola's family. The late Chief M.K. Abiola's legacy should not be forgotten in Nigeria political history. Involvement of Abiola's family in the Nigerian politics and administration should not be overestimated. I salute the courage of the Mr. President, for taking a bold step to always do the needful. God bless Ashiwaju and God bless Nigeria. Another commenter said, Bola Tinumbu is a perfect man. Then another said, How? For subjecting Nigerians into a total hardship, hunger, poverty, and hopelessness? Is that what you describe as a nice man? People should fear God and avoid being a praise singer for a person that is the worst president ever produced in Nigeria. His 100 days in power are worse than Buari and Abacha's tenures combined. Another said, Great one, Baba President. Another said, All these Nadeko appointments, may God help Nigeria. Another commenter said, It's time to shape him politically to become the Ogun State Governor after Governor Dakbo Abiodun. Another person said, Wow, jam you. Why not call her Abiola? Another said, It's so obvious. Paddy Paddy government. Just like Buari Lake's government. Another said, By the time President appoints every Nigerian citizen, his first time will come to an end. Carry Mr. President, don't forget council members for higher institutions, as well as board members of companies and organizations. So these are the few comments we can take right now. Of course, you remember Jamie Abiola is the late son of late MKO and Kudirat Abiola, the matriarch of democracy who also lost her life during the struggle for democracy mm -hmm. in Nigeria. This particular act has made people to start asking questions to say, why is Kola Abiola sidelined? Why is Kola not the one chosen as the first son of the late um, hero of Nigeria. Kola Biola also, if you recall, was also an aspirant um, in one of the political parties. But of course, he couldn't you know, gather the clouds for that. Many things have been said about the Kola Abiola um, led family that um, he and Jamie especially has not really been in good terms and all of that. However, that's a family issue. But with this, will Kola Abiola react 
to the appointment of his younger brother, in fact, Sir Brother Jamie Abiola, into President Bola Mes Tinumbu's cabinet. Please share your opinion in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. May God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.